All right, so another day at the range. Today, we have the North American Arms Pug in 22 Magnum. This is my favorite little defensive carry weapon. Don't get to carry it as much as I would like to, but when I get my permit, I will be carrying this thing nonstop. This is, this is a great weapon. Every female should have this. Today, we're going to do some long range shooting with it. We're gonna see how accurate it is we are at 18 yards right now. I could push it back a little bit farther, but I don't 100% have the space for it. So, 18 yards, five shot, 22 Magnum. Uh, let's go ahead and load it up real quick. We'll take a few shots, and if you can't see it from the other feed, we'll go ahead, we'll check our, our impacts and we'll see how it's working out. I did a video on this one a while back, and it was, it was a great, great little gun to shoot. It was very accurate. Uh, when you when you draw it, when you point it, it, it becomes part of your body. It's no different than pointing your finger, and it is it is quite quite accurate. If you want to check out that video, I can put a link in the description. You can click that, and go right onto it. It's not hard to load. Chamber, cylinder in, retaining pin. And the gun, twist, we're live. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put on some headphones, ear pro, headphones, earphones. I'm gonna go ahead and go live. We're gonna go for uh, center mass for right now. Slight jam there. All right, so we're locked up a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the cylinder. Uh-oh, uh-oh. This is, this is not the gun, this is the round. I've had this happen. The butt of the gun, of the casing, is slightly too big and it gets caught. Now normally when I'm carrying this thing, when I have this thing in, in defensive ready, I use Hornady Critical Defense. Never had a problem with that ammo. Now this is slightly more inexpensive ammo. It, it may not be up to par on, on the casing size and all that other goodness. Uh, this is really starting to weird me out. There we go. All right, we're out. All five were fired. Okay. We got that casing right there. Didn't want to seat all the way. Let's go ahead and pop those guys out. Now some of these, anybody who's experienced with 22 mag, they know that not every single casing is exactly the same. They're not all shaped the same. The butt ends aren't always the same, same width. Some want to seat more than others. This is the first revolver. Oh no, no, that's not true. I have another revolver that is a 22 mag. And I do believe it has similar problems. It has a much larger cylinder though. And I mean, it's overall just a bigger gun. This thing is quite compact. Let's do another five shots. Long range, 18 yards, 22 Magnum, North American Arms Pug. It. All right, I can't really tell from here. I can see looks like one or two got a little bit off target there. Go ahead and unload. Okay. 
That's one thing I don't like about these is how hard they are to get out. Once you have fired, it uh, if you ever had to do a, a fast reload, it would be wiser and more tactical to actually have backup cylinders that you can just pop into the gun. Um, it would be nice if they found a slight solution to this. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to walk up there and take a look. You should be able to see what I see on the other feet. Well, not the best. Not the best at all. It's got quite a bit of drop to it. All right, we're going to have to do this again because, ouch, ouch, my pride. That's not very, it's not very pleasing right now. We're going to do this again. Take a little bit more time to line up those sights. To be fair though, the target would be hurting. The enemy would be on the ground in pain. I just don't think he'd be dead. So let's go ahead. And do this again. I still stand by this weapon because this is an up close weapon. And up close, this thing is just not to be messed with. Let's try this again. I'm, not, I'm actually, I'm gonna try to put a couple in the head. Let's see how this goes. Eh, wrong. Now back to the chest. That's five shots. Yep, all five went off. And I'm going to walk up there. I'm gonna see how we did. All right, not satisfying. I got, I think these two are fresh. I wanna say that one and that one and that one are fresh. I just missed it. But I got him in the neck, I got him in the heart. I, he, he, he'd, he'd be done. He would be on the ground. I'm still not satisfied. I don't know how I feel about these sights. They're not super accurate. You know, there's, there's a chance. I'm not lining them up right. But... I mean, that's all over the place down there. Kind of upsetting. I'm crying on the inside, man. Alright, so... Let's try it again. Again, 18 yards. 22 Magnum Pug Revolver. Let's do this. Let's make this happen. Issues. Ah, this isn't gonna go. There we go. I know I got one more in here. This is hot. All right, here we go. No, 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 damn it. There we go. All right, I tried to put every single one of those in the head. To be 100% honest, I don't think I got it. I don't. It just may not be a long range weapon. Oh yeah, that's, that's, that's not good. That's not good. I'm aiming up here and I'm hitting here. Not aiming with the park with the with the sights right. A few more of these, and then we're gonna we're gonna put a woman behind the gun. We're gonna see how that works out. 
See, uh, see if that gives us any kind of better, better results, which personally make me kind of sad on the inside. But I mean, if it's meant for a woman to carry in defensive purposes, then who knows? My wife's a revolver shooter. She loves her revolvers, and she's a good, good shot with them too. Maybe, maybe she can have better luck. I don't know. Let's find out. I'm gonna do this again. All right. I really want this to work. I love this gun. Aim a little bit higher. aiming here last couple times when I was hitting here. I changed the way I aim with the sights. I'm now hitting up here. Looks like I went right over. I got one here. So I'm still off. I'm still off. We're going to give the gun to the wife and we're going to see how she does. Maybe she'll put me to shame. I can dig it. My lovely wife, ladies and gentlemen. All right. You're live, and it's all of you, baby. Thank you very much. Where should I, where should I aim? Wherever you want. Just make sure you consistently aim at the same spot so that we can check when we walk up there. Oh, okay. There's a bee. Oh my goodness. No, calm down. Maintain cool. Come here and help me. It's Get it a off bee. me. It is a bee and I'm allergic to bees. And the gun was cracked. You gotta edit that part out. It's gone. I'm not editing it out. <laughs> You're gonna own it. It's okay. I didn't point the gun at anything but the ground. Own it, baby. It's okay. It's just a bee. Bee amazing. Bee. Bee pun for the win. Bee pun. Damn. It doesn't want to cock back. I don't like it with this ammo, man. Thank you. And that's it. No, that was only four. Are you sure about that? Because there's. I'm almost positive. That last one that didn't want to go. Only four. Cock and shoot. Okay. This ammo sucks. What? It's not cocking. Seriously? Here, this, this ammo really does suck. It's not cocking that. Killing me, Smalls. It's not me. You are alive, dearie. Thank you very much. That's it. Clear the weapon. You got one up here. I think that's you. Not the best. Not the best. It's not the but best. We had some ammo problems. It's good. Anything over 10, 15 yards, you're, you're going to have trouble. And maybe with some practice, maybe with, with hours out here and the whole couple hundred rounds, getting more familiar with the sights. It's only her like second time shooting the gun. The bee didn't help. Uh, a little more time working with it. You could probably get it on target from here. Last time I had it, I was shooting at a gong from about this far and, and I was hitting it, but I mean, we're talking disc, so. One more? I, I'll do one more. Um, I'll do one more. 
Let's see what I can do with it. But uh, no, I think I think the the verdict is in. This this gun is not great for long range uh, encounters. It's it's it'll do great close range. This is still a great concealed carry weapon. It's still it is a it is it always has been a point to shoot weapon. Let me try that. Let me try that. I'm gonna try pointing and shooting with this thing. No aiming, just on the draw, 18 yards. Oh man, let's see how this goes. No promises on this one. I probably will not hit the target at all. I, I imagine each round will be in the white or in the dirt, one of the two. I don't know, we're gonna find out though. We're gonna find out. I wish I had some pasties so I could cover up the old target. All right. Face the target, I'm, I'm gonna face this way. Look, right? I'm gonna view the target, draw and shoot. Howdy, man. That was garbage. Let's go check it out. That's just not good. That's not, I see nothing new. Oh, there we go. I got one here. Got one here. <laughs> um, I, got, I think over there. Yeah, one there. Yeah, that's just, that's just too far. It's just too far. It's just... Say you're you're in a you're in a situation where you're in a, in a in a place of business and there's some guy comes in robs the place he's got a gun and you're hiding behind the counter or something and this is all you got take a few seconds to aim you could hit the tell I I don't know you might want to sneak up a little bit closer. I still stand by the gun. I'll still carry it. I'll still use this gun. This would still be my first line of defense because when you get attacked, it's going to be up close. It's not going to be at this range. It's not going to be this much of a distance. They're going to be up on you and the size of the thing, you know, they say, give me your wallet. Pull that thing. Pull that thing. Yeah, it's a 50-50 shot. Yeah, it's a risk. So it's standing there in the first place. So is just giving him your wallet. He could kill you after he takes it. So I still recommend this gun. North American Arms Pug, 22 Magnum. Just need you should check out the other video. Go check out the other video. 22 Pug, uh, 22, North American Arms, 22 Pug review. It's on our channel. Gives you a better idea of up close. Subscribe, give us a like so we can make more of these. I want to make a whole bunch of these videos. I got other guns that need to be reviewed. There's guns out there I want to review. I need likes. I need subscribers to do this. Thanks for joining us. I hope you enjoyed the show. Deuces. Deuces.